That's what that's who I was watching while I was at work too. Him and Nike. I was at work fiending, dog. I'm like, shit, I'm ready to go now. Nah. Yo, what's good, man? Shout out to T, man. Appreciate the love, big dog. Yo, Peasy. I'm looking better than yesterday, dog. That's all. Alright. Good shot, dog. <clears throat> nah, I ain't cooking now. I ain't gonna say cooking, but I'm definitely playing better. Stay there, stay there. I got it. Got you. Okay. Oh, you got more. I got, I got some. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> For real. The shot, boy. Let's go. The Black Steve Nash. Come on, man. Teamwork and defense is what we do around here. Claw, take the bottom. Spank free throw line. Send me a pick, Claw. Spank left wing. Claw slip. What happened? Huh? Man. Wrong icon. Pump fake. Good shot. You gonna hit that? Man, that's tough. Okay. He said, oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna let him see. Uh. He said, you do pro am too? Yeah. And probably at the end of it. It's not known. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm tripping. Good pass. My bad. I got greedy. Good pass. Uh, shoot. That might be off. There you go. Good teamwork. On. Lock. I, I mean, I, I ain't put up my bro, passing, you feel me? Zero, this, yeah, I, I got zero. I ain't gonna count. It's on zero. What is it, what are you up to though? Uh, thanks. I don't, I don't know. Gold? Maybe silver. Damn, bro. I'm thinking you the center, but you're not the center, dog. Why you not the center? Oh. You gonna green that? Aw, oh, you trip. If this game has no passing, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It, it's tough to say right now. I had to check. I got. You. Look at that passing, sport. Come on, nice sport. You know I got past it, dog. Come on, five or six, man. Act like y'all know, man. <clears throat> These boys out here splacking. Come on, man. Six for seven? <laughs> I wish I could shoot like that. Oh, man. Look at this, dude. Hmm. 
Talk to me nice then, man. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna have to change my snatch back. I ain't liking this Luca one. <clears throat> I feel like he ain't giving me enough space. Oh, he got Levine. Oh, that's the one from last year, ain't it? Why am I tripping? The snatch back or the hop back. Come on, okay, bet. Right, I'ma change this Luca shit. I don't know why what I put on the old nigga dribble moves anyway. I mean, he ain't an old nigga, but he dribbled. He dribbled like it, sport. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, dog. Come on, man. I ain't bad, but I think I'm getting there. I'm bad. I was scared. I was scared like a mom. Excellent, boy. My bad. Spain, you know I try to hit you. Rebound. I got box out. Okay, I'm, I'm killing y'all icons. There, you go. there we go. Good box out, Claude. Good shot, Spank. How you been? Man, I've been doing good, Brody. The, the, the go to shot for Good stuff, Spank. Good rotation. See, that's what I'm talking about. That, That's what I'm talking about right there. That was perfect, bruh. Spain back door. Good shot. I might be, yeah. Good dunk. Uh, good stuff. You ain't seen me in a minute. Yeah, I've been, been in, you know. I don't think he'll make it. I love him open. His name is Sharp. His player name is Sharp so I don't know if he's playing on the Rebound. Good rebound. Good pop out. Good teamwork. Good pick, Spank. I seen it. Oh, the, what? We don't get the rebound? We got it. Bruh. Mm. Yo, appreciate the love, old man. Good steal. Good dunk. Let's go. On the rim, coach. Teamwork. Oh, boy, he. Oh. Good teamwork. Good Let's go. Pass. You seen it? <laughs> you seen it? Good pass. Let's go. Five to um. How you liking the game? It's challenging. Go. Good teamwork. Good pass. That's what happens when you ain't make that extra pass. Ah! <laughs> Good shot, big dog. Let's go. All right. Sound good. Are you good? Oh man! I right, we need a bucket now. Spain set me a pick, claw right corner. <clears throat> I tried to, I tried to use the pick, but I was moving too fast. Once again, I got to, I got to slow down. I let that go, Eric. Good, that's a two. 
No, Claw Pass is actually legit though. Like he actually making that thing come down here. I mean, it get down here, but I be in the air, dog. Let's go, good teamwork. You feel me? Let's go, good teamwork. Come on, man. First time in the park, dog. It's looking good so far. I'm just happy to see that the ball is going in the hole, man. I ain't gonna, you know what I said, I told the chat the other day, man. Um, day two, I had called GameStop, man. Trying to get my money back. They were like, we don't do refund once you open the, the console. So they was like, they'll give me 275, bro. I was headed up there. My girl told me, you know what I'm saying, don't do it. That goddamn 2K had me hot, boy. Couldn't make a shot, everything was slightly late. What's good, what's good, back with a new video, man. And I just want to ask you, what's the difference between you and Will Smith? What's the difference between you and Jay-Z? What's the difference between you and Tupac? What's the difference between you and Beyonce? What's the difference between you and Whitney Houston? What's the difference between you and Mariah Carey? What's the difference between you and your mother? What's the difference between you and your father? What's the difference between you and your brothers and sisters? You define you. You define you. You are in control of you. You know how some of these people get successful? Simply by hard work. What are they doing that you're not doing? Yo, look at the person that you that you look up to. I don't have, per se, a male figure in my life. Like, I don't have a mentor. I basically forced a dude to be my mentor without him even knowing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be 100. My trainer, I put him in a position that he is forced to mentor me without him even knowing it or, or having a chance to say no. Yo, get around people that you force them to mentor you. Force them to lead you. For, like, if it's somebody that's on TV... Look at their lifestyle and force yourself because you ain't controlling you. Force yourself to say, this person getting up at three every morning, I'm going to get up at three too. Force people to mentor you without giving them the opportunity to say yes or no. The big dude that be training me, and I always call him big dude, man, because he not really, he not really want to get on camera. He don't really care about the camera life. He already lived that lifestyle. He not want to say, hey, Record me. So I always say big dude to keep his name out of it. Or I say trainer. So the guy that be training me. I put him in a position to be somebody that I look up to without asking him. I have to ask him to mentor me. But I talk to him about personal stuff. He, he trained me on working out. He, he, he support what I do and some stuff he don't support. And he let me know. He mentored me without me even asking him to. I forced him to mentor me because I see the lifestyle he I see the lifestyle he living. He a grinder, he a hard worker, he truthful, he honest, he funny, he caring. That's me. I'm just a young, rough virgin. And granted, like he said all the time, at one point in time, he was a rough, a rough virgin the way he had today. He made mistakes. You know, he talks to me about some stuff, and I'm like, Damn, you did that? Or you, you know, he wasn't always the man he is now. He is now. So when I look at myself, I said, I got a chance. If this motherfucker used to be like this, even the girl that I'm fucking with, like the girl that I'm dating, her dad is a CFO. And I don't know if I should be talking about that, you know, because I don't know how serious that is. Like, I don't know if I can be mentioning him, you know, with his position. But... Her dad used to be, okay, I don't know if I can talk about that, so I'm going to move off that. But anyway, there are people that used to be in the same boat on men. Did negative stuff, was not a great person, did bad things, hurted people, did the drugs, did the running in the streets. And then they have changed their life 
to become multi-millionaires. And I'm sitting here like, I got a chance then. So guess what? All the people that I name, those are regular peoples. They not nothing more special than our than we are. They earn to be special to, special than we are. Like the dude that trained me, he earned the right to be somebody that I look up to. He earned that right. He wasn't just the man he is right now. He had to go through stuff in life. And now he got somebody that respect him in a way that I don't even know if his kids respect him. Granted, I wish I could look at my dad the same way. But this is why I tell you, when somebody impacts your life, we feel we feel like a different type of way about them. That's, a, that's why I tell you to get with females. Like, if you're going to be in the dating range, get with a woman that can impact your life or get with a man that can impact your life. There's no way you should be dating a female or dating a guy that can't impact your life. When, some, when a person can impact your life, I don't know about y'all, but I'm loyal. My loyalty is like a dog. I'm a dog when it comes to loyalty. I I have done some stuff for people because I'm loyal that I probably shouldn't be on this earth right now. My loyalty help got me in some very dangerous situation. And I apologize for the people I hurt because I was being loyal. But I have did some very bad things because of loyalty. So when a person can change my life in a way, yo, I'm like this. Whatever you need from me, whatever you need, whatever you tell me to do, I will do it. And that's why I try to keep myself away from negativity. Because if I'm when like I'm so loyal, when I get around the wrong person, he can force me to do some stuff. Because my I'm just that loyal, man. Like, that's who I am. That's my DNA. That's what I live by. I live by trying to be a man of my words, bro. So when a female, like, and this is what I tell you. When it comes to females, I don't lie to them because I try my best to be loyal. Yes, I do talk to other females. I, I'm loyal to y'all too, though. I don't talk to nobody else. You know, this is this life I used to live. Now y'all know I just date one female. I'm loyal to her. She have done something that changed my life. The day she gave me a book, she earned my loyalty. Now, whether we work out, that's one thing. But I will forever be loyal to her. She changed my life. The day she gave me this book, the day she put this in my hand and said, I want to give this to you. I think this can help you with what you're trying to do with kids. Look at it. The day she put this book in my hands, she earned it my loyalty for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life, I would give her my loyalty until she no longer deserve it. And she got to do some real crazy. Real crazy. My trainer, the dude, my big dude, the day he allowed me to train with him, he changed my life forever. The day he allowed me to open up to him about personal things in my life, I will forever be loyal to him. Forever. I will, this is what I'm telling you guys We are in control of how we carry our life And the peoples that we look up to Are regular peoples We can be that motivation That leader to the next generation But we gotta start making the decision To change right now We can't wait, wait, and wait, and wait Boom, your life is gone He had a tragic accident Boom, somebody just came in, did something this. He was in the gang. He was in the street. He was selling the truck. Boom, life gone. Let's start right now before it get too far out of hand. Let's start right now and start making the changes. Just because the people you look up to are way off in the world, start using what they did to get successful. You know, if it's, if it's like grinding every day, they worked it 24 hours out of a day and took a day off on a Sunday. Okay, start patterning it. Get yourself around people that you can pattern yourself. With, you know what I'm saying? Start taking some. My big dude, hey, he go to work. He be at work every day. I said to myself, man, 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 you got to get to work. You got to get to work. You got to get to work. Yo, you all the way in Birmingham. You hanging out with your girl. Bro, go to work. Go to work, bro. Get up. It's five o'clock. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. So I get, I put myself around people that can challenge me, that I can script. My, uh, the girl I'm dating. Bro, she's so fucking smart. She's so fucking smart. So you know what I do? I challenge myself. I read books and I read the dictionary to learn new words. Because I want to 
I'm not going to let you outdo me. Not in a negative way. This is not a competition. This is just me. I want to improve my life. So guess what? I'm going to surround myself with people that can challenge me. Not make me feel stupid, but challenge me. And they don't try to disrespect me when they challenge. But they challenge me on, yo, spell this. Or who do this. They not going to disrespect me. They just put this in my hand. That's simply, she challenging me. She not challenging me in a disrespect. Me. She challenging what I believe in. She said, this can help you with kids. You say you want to help kids, this can help you. That's a challenge. And that's a positive challenge. That's a challenge that can change my life. Change my life. So, man, be grateful. Be honest. Be loyal to what you say you want to do. Have a code to stand on. Stand on your nuts. Especially you men. For you women, stand on what you say. You say you want to value yourself, then hold yourself accountable. We got to hold ourselves accountable for when we slip off track. I love y'all, man. I'm grateful. The people that we look up to, we can be those same people for the next generation. Let's grind, baby. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a great day. Let's have a great weekday. Week, week, week. A great work week also, man. And I, as I notice, I look at this young man. I just talked to him in the gym. He's 16. He said he used to be very overweight. And I see him leaving because I'm about to get ready to go, too. I'm just, I'm outside the gym right now. Oh, look at these bad white girls. God damn. Ooh, don't miss me. Do I need a second workout? Uh, I'm full with the female I'm dating, but you know, I'm a man. I still look, god damn it. I'm a man. I see, when I see nice ass and beautiful women, I look, but I ain't going nowhere. I ain't doing that, but shit, I look, god damn it. I'm going to look. <laughs> I ain't going to never lie to a woman, so I ain't going to look. But anyway, this young dude, he's 16, say he used to be overweight. He in the gym grinding, man. He's 16, say he a full-time college student. But he's still in high school. I don't know how that is. I don't know what they got going on with school. Now, how he a full-time co college student, 16 and I don't know. But I'm, I, I, I said, man, guess what? I support you, bro. I just want to talk to him in the gym. I just see him over there. I said, I support you, man. Anytime you need somebody to work out with, holler at me, bro. I want to, I want to, I'm, I'm going to talk to him more, but I ain't want to, you know, my first time walking up on him, I ain't want to just, there's a lot of people be nervous when I walk up on him, you know, you know, think I'm trying to, yo, you need to go harder. Nah, I just want to talk, bro. I just want to be a, be a positive influence in your life. So that was my first time talking to him. I'm definitely going to try to talk to him more often and I'm going to try to be in his life, bro. And I know y'all probably be like, bro, you tripping? That's what I want to do. I want to help kids and I want to, some way I can possibly help him. Seem like a nice young dude. The only thing I didn't like when I went and shake his when I went and shook his hand, he held on to my hand a little too long. I don't know if he was nervous, like he got froze. Cause I just walked up on him. Yo, what's up, bro? I'm Jabari. Then I start talking. I don't You know, I'm gonna have to let him know, bro. When you grab a man hand, you firm it, you grip it, and you let that shit go. You don't hold my shit that long, man. But anyway, I hope y'all have a great day. <laughs> y'all have a good one, man. See y'all in the next one. Shot on the whole game. Wait, but see, in T case, T said he got tricked, man. So I understand the T case. T said he ain't put, he ain't put no high perimeter on his. Rebound. Good pass. That's game. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's old school saying right there. Yeah, I'm gonna change that behind the back. I ain't like it. Oh, you must got an AI on you. <laughs> you need that diamond, man. Just say that. That's your chick. Just say that, dog. Just say you need that diamond, man. Diamond with that zero pass accuracy? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yo, Spank, I ain't gonna lie, that gesture for a lockdown. That motherfucker is shit.
That's the one we use. Yeah, dude. Same one. So y'all gatekeeping jump shots, man? Nah, nah, I gave him a... Ah, let me find out. <laughs> Bro, I was so mad when I went and looked and I couldn't put on my sick, sick jumper. I'm like, oh shit, I done spent my money already. Dang, it's tough. Yeah. Spanky, 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 dog, doo dog, doo dog. Now what the spanky, fuck? Spanky, spanky, dog, oh, yeah. Hold on, dog. <laughs> nah, y'all trolling, man. Ain't no way y'all got spank out here like that, man. <laughs> that messed up, man. That's tough, man. <laughs> nah, for real, though. <laughs> Now, paint dribble, but it's working out though, man. It's working out. <laughs>